volcanoes represent a significant hazard to humans. By studying volcanoes, we're getting a handle on how to prevent disasters. When the earth moves beneath the surface or magma moves beneath the volcano, earthquakes are not going to occur. So we're going to be measuring those. We're putting out instruments that measure the earthquakes that are going on inside the volcano and the surrounding area to try to kind of predict eruptions and understand the volcano better, which is really important for surrounding communities. My laptop and some other backup, so I want to remove it from that disc. Yeah. We have to hike out to where we want to put the station, dig up holes to put the actual earthquake monitoring device into the ground. And it's not just going out there once and putting it out there. We have to go back multiple times and check to make sure this instrumentation is recording what it's supposed to be and the way it's supposed to be. We have two stations on our backs here, so we're going to install the ones that are, we've already moved the equipment to, and then we're going to start to drop the stations off on the other side. Volcanism is the earth forming at the surface, and a very large percentage of rocks on the surface of the earth are volcanic. And so by studying them, we're learning about how continents grow and about how our crust is formed. So volcanoes have all these, the lava expressed at the surface, but we don't really know what's going on underneath. And we can use that earthquake information as a window into the interior of the volcano. As a new student, it was a really wonderful opportunity for me to get to go down there and be able to do this such a large field excursion. People in their entire career sometimes don't have the opportunity to do something like that. So I feel like I've learned valuable knowledge on how to do field work, set up my own experiments, and just that entire process. And it also was a really good cultural experience for me, having not gone to do anything like this in the past. 5.20%. Okay. During this trip, I've learned more in such a short amount of time than I ever believed possible. In the field, there's just a different dynamic between professors and their undergrad researchers and their grad students than you see in a normal classroom. You should. It's useful if you're going to stick around in science. Yeah. yeah. Cool. During this trip, I got to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with my professor. You know, we got to talk about potential, what do I want to do in the future? What can I work on when I get back to Chapel Hill? How can I get the most out of this experience? Just sitting in a classroom, you can listen to a professor and see pictures and even watch videos. And that's great, but it's just not the same as getting your hands dirty, trying it yourself, making your own mistakes out in the field, and having those memories firsthand. The volcano is, it's massive, and there is no way that we could collect all this data that we're trying to without the help from other universities. It's a group effort. We go to exotic places around the world because that's where we can find the things we're trying to understand. People of North Carolina should know about how the earth works. That's what I'm training. I'm training young people from North Carolina to learn about how the earth works, how was Chapel Hill formed. What was this part of the planet like 600 million years ago? We go to Chile to find out. <laughs>